amounts of losers bracket to play. There, how you doing, man? Oh, these were right into it. Uh, myself and oh. Plump were talking a little bit earlier about the kind of styles and how teams kind of set themselves into, you know, you've got your certain objectives, like, all right, Plump's going to get somebody off the stage with a crouch cancel down smash, and Hungry Box is going to hit them away so they can't recover. Yeah, that's that's that sounds like the strategy, right? Um, oh, there's a rest. Every, every time uh, Hungry Box gets a rest, I see Plump, like, reset him with like a jab or something. He's always there, always like a really good support. Yeah, especially when he misses. He's always there just Oh, oh but exactly, oh. like you said, right there. Oh my god. Uh, wow. So I've asked Hungrybox about why this team works. Because I've seen uh, Daryl and Dark, for example, um, do this team as well. And they were very successful. This was at ROM. I think they either won or got really close. But um, it seems like just Samus and Puff are characters that can take care of themselves very well. Like, they can handle two-on-one situations pretty well by themselves, and so they don't really get cornered the way, like, Fox or Falco or whatever some other characters do. Um, oh. Plump was supposed to die, and I think uh, Peach just jabbed out of that. Um, yeah, they can both take care of themselves, but you also, like, the way that they work together is phenomenal, too, just because their main goal, they, they just complement each other so well. Right there. Yeah. Forward smash from Samus, and she still gets to play her game, still gets to stay on the ground, while oh Jigglypuff takes God. care of everything else. Yeah, yeah. And that's the third rest I think we've seen? Yeah, that was a crazy rest. Um, Fox did uh, a ledge uh, ledge get up, or jump, whatever, and Hungrybox caught him out of that. I've never yeah. seen that before. That, oh! Okay. That was another rest up. Oh my <laughs> God. Um, I mean, despite all these rests, we still have a pretty darn even game. Like, this is dead even. Yeah, it's tied. It's tied. Um, they, they seem to take turns, like, getting a bunch of kills. Like, their momentum swings really, really quickly. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, man. MACD, a little bit of a miscue. Yeah. Actually leads to Leffen's death. Wait, it's... Oh, okay. So, right now, green team really wants to kill MACD, obviously, to set up for the 2-on-1, right? Oh, or they wow. could get a rest. Or <laughs> they'll just get a rest, the fourth one of the match. And MACD's in a bad situation. Yeah. Fortunately, Peach is also a character that can handle 2 on ones oh, pretty yeah. well, but it's tricky. I wouldn't, yeah. I was going to say I wouldn't expect MACD to be able to handle the situation in singles, let alone versus two people with three stocks. You've got two characters with look like almost more aerial mobility and weapons to kind of zone her out. Oh, yeah. Um, at the same time, it, it's, yeah, not, not a good recipe right there. And quick Yoshi story counter pick. Ooh, Yoshi's story counter pick. Ooh, double. <laughs> and a phantom hit right there, too. Cool things happening at the start. Yeah, what do you think about this counter pick? Uh, I mean, it makes sense. You've got Fox is going to just kill easier. Uh, you got Peach going to kill easier off the sides. The rest are the same no matter what the stage, really. Um, the blender. And so is, like, uh, Samus' down smash. So their wow. objective doesn't get any easier. But blue teams does. Yeah, definitely, definitely. One thing I know MACD really likes is um, <laughs> his his acronym for his uh, playstyle is DAD. Dash attack, down smash. Yep. So you'll see him go on platforms and just spam down smash a lot. Maybe not anymore. He's he's uh he's grown past that a little yeah, bit. Evolved a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, I think I think he he Yoshi story is uh oh invisible ceiling, poor Leffen. Well, the fact is it's it's a tried and true recipe. Uh, and it it works, and it has worked for a long time. Yes. Um, and we were talking about kind of the beauty and the simplicity of your, you know, what you want to do in teams. So Fox's goal is to get you with an up smash yeah. or an up air, and Peach's job is to just rack up that percentage. And they both do it really well with just a few moves. Yeah, it's not working out really for Blue Team right now. Um, yeah. They're not able to get that quick, the quick down smash damage and the quick kills. Uh, Peach's down smash, unfortunately, doesn't very or doesn't work very well against uh, these floaty type teams. So. Right, um, and you also see Plup really utilizing um, the up B. Oh, oh another rest! Wow. 
He's been using the up B to interrupt any kind of momentum that the blue team seems to get. Um, and we were watching Hugs do that earlier with a oh, lot nice less follow. efficiency. I wonder what PT80 sounds for or stands uh, for. Potato. Oh my god. <laughs> It's okay. All right. It's alright. Plup had the same question. Oh my I mean, God. I'm assuming right here, but I. it does seem like that would be... Alright, so... It's, it's not unwinnable here, but the problem is you really it's really difficult to gimp either one of these characters. Oh, no. And yeah. Alright, so yeah, we needed more of that. Uh, I mean, you can call them straight-up smashes, but like, left it needs to land those kind of up smashes on yeah. the stage. Uh, yeah, that's that's rough. I don't know if they're gonna get a better counter pick than that. Um, I would probably Stadium? see them. Maybe, maybe, but I feel like kind of all this leads better for uh, green. Yeah, like Plup's ability on that stage to spam missiles and zone out while you know Hungry Box just dances around them. What was game one played on? Was it Stadium actually? Uh, I don't remember. I don't, I don't really remember either. I've just seen so many darn matches. And, so <laughs> quick, and, and they go so either fast. Way. Oh, Hungry Box read his jump. Yep. Very, very nice. Gets the kill. Um, okay, wasn't able to get some uh, damage on Peach while she was recovering. Oh, man, this is rough. Okay, uh, Buffy gets the kill. Very good. Um, man. Another. Oh, okay, misses it. Almost converts on that one as well. Yeah, they need to get those conversions. It doesn't look like um, Leffen and uh, MACD are really like complementing each other's hits. Like, I don't know. It's yeah, it, and I think it's the fact that it's just these characters. Because if if oh, if the green know. team gets in between the blue team, it's like you're gonna get a ton of damage done to you. But they can't quite seem to do it to two people that are primarily in the air. Yeah, yeah. Neither of these characters are well. I mean, I suppose Plup's playing a decent amount on the ground, um, but he's been using neutral air a lot. Uh, he's been using his up B a lot. Yeah. So plus, he plus when he's on the ground, he's pretty safe, right? He has like an up B out of, uh, up B out of shield. Right. He has an escape card, so... Um, man, I don't really know. This this team is traditionally in grand finals of every national, so we haven't yeah. really found like a, a hard counter to this team yet. But I, I'm not sure Ooh. it exists. Wow. Yeah, gets a twofer right there, though. And blue team up. First time they had a lead. Yeah. Perhaps the simplicity of Final D is really just working out for them. Oh no. God, I can't believe that even works. That's I was saying. I was thinking like, man, they need to avoid getting rested and then bam, <laughs> rest. <laughs> just like that, they're back in the game. But Hungerbox does have a pretty decent percentage on it. Leffen can hit with it. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Of all the things. Hungrybox is so clutch. Yeah, I was just going to say he's like right in the danger zone if if Levin hits. Okay, so he gets it, but unfortunately there were two stocks in between. Yeah, another rest? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, That's I, I hope not for their sake, just... Yeah. Alright. Oh, no. I don't know what Mac D... Oh, no. I really don't know what Mac D needs to be doing differently. I can't analyze in that way. Uh... I mean, I feel like Leffen was kind of giving it his all. He's good getting a lot of the kills, if not almost all of them. And we'll see on, like, the sheet afterwards. But Mac D just can't seem to be getting it done. I don't know what's different about <laughs> this team versus the others. So, yeah. But really, I mean, a quick 3-0, really convincingly. Yeah, so you get Leffen with all the kills there. Um, Peach is obviously the damage dealer, but it's not quite enough.